we got a ton of updates regarding the RTX 50 series from NVIDIA and then there was an article posted about Windows 12 and an update regarding this which the article is extremely long so what I ended up doing is I copy and pasted this entire article into ChatGPT and it broke it down for me so that's the first thing that we're going to cover timestamps will be below if you just want to fast forward to the RTX 50 series information and all that kind of stuff so the article says that we explore the latest leaks and rumors surrounding Microsoft's potential Windows 12 release in late 2024. While this is not officially confirmed, indications from Intel and Qualcomm executives suggest that a possible boost in PC sales with the new version is going to take place. This breakdown covers expected features, changes in the update cadence, potential design tweaks, and then the role of AI in shaping the future of Windows. The article suggests a modular system design with a lightweight code codenamed Hudson Valley, quote unquote, and highlights detailed from Windows Central's Zach Bowden, which is a reliable source for Windows predictions. Insights from Microsoft Ignite reveal for a potential Windows 12 desktop layout, introducing subtle design changes, and then the video also ends up exploring the ongoing Windows as a service, quote unquote, strategy. Forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I hate saying it as much as you probably hate me saying it, but if I do not say it, like 1% of you will actually do it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And that is the end of that little whatever breakdown from ChatGBT there on that entire Windows 12 article. So now we're going to be going over the RTX 50 series information. Like, dude, holy, like, wow. All right. So the NVIDIA RTX 5090 is rumored to be up to 70, dude, the 4090 is already like, holy moly, 70%, 70% faster, dude, what? what do you mean that like that man that's a now that's a like leap holy crap so nvidia is done launching its 88 lovelace generation of gpus now that the rtx super cards have landed so we're not going to be going over any of this so this right here is a bunch of the information so we have multiple chips yearly leaps and one architecture so we have super chip grace hopper hopper next hopper we got 88 lovelace 88 lovelace next grace grace next blue field three and blue field four that's super like uh blurry that's a it's like a 140p resolution however all right so since the rtx 4090 currently has no competition from amd and is priced at 1600 dollars i'm just curious to how many of you actually got a graphics card for that amount of money i can't find a 4090 under two grand so this is going to allow nvidia to charge something like two thousand dollars for the rtx 5090 and maybe even twenty five hundred dollars according to mlid so i want to make something really clear really quickly here okay so for those of you that may not r realize this the 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 4090 the 3090 the we didn't have one with the 20 series and then the soon to be 5090 all these are our titans okay so i understand that a lot of people are complaining about the price of a 5090 a 4090 and that kind of stuff but dude the titan has always been expensive it has always been extremely expensive so all nvidia did is they removed the titan name on it because it wasn't selling very well and they they put rtx 3090 that was the first one they did it with and then they did it with the 4090 and it seems to be working out very well for them all right i'm not saying that they're bad for gaming it's pretty obvious they're extremely good for gaming but are they a good value for gaming no they're not a good value for gaming the, the only time you should be getting a 4090 or a 5090 is if you are in the creator space because it it dude it makes a massive difference in video rendering times for me at least and then there I, i'm not i don't use like blender and cinema 4d and all these other like pixar 3d render applications a lot i have used cinema 4d in the past and i have attempted to use blender but it just it confuses me so i don't like using it but that is really what the 4090 and 5090 are for is so that you can get real-time previews in these pixar animations that you're creating and all of that kind of stuff and to be i'm you can hate me all you want for saying this okay if you are an animate if you're an animator and you're still using blender within a year from now and you're not taking advantage of ai what are you doing dude like people need to accept i, I get it man a lot of people are upset with ai because it's going to replace a lot of people but like what like 
you can either hop on it or not you know what i mean dude i really gotta figure out how to stop sweating over here every time i make a video i start getting so hot all right so um i really do i get so warm standing here so anyways let's get back to this article here so 2500 bucks the upcoming launches hinges on how important nvidia believes the gaming market is and the bottom line its reputation is in the future but the company is already becoming known more for its ai hardware than it is for okay i'm glad they just covered it because this is i was just about to say this and that's what this art that's why i opened this article all right so nvidia earned over 18 billion dollars from its data center products and less than three billion dollars from gaming clearly it must be a monumental shift within the company as to its priorities and how it allocates chips to gaming or data center products i've been saying this a long time man for for how long now like four or five months nvidia is not aiming their company at gamers anymore it's, it's pretty clear to me that they're not trying to do that and i understand that because of this prices are going up but so something that if you guys ever become an entrepreneur and you start networking with other business minded people something that you're going to see is that like the more successful entrepreneurs they solve rich people issues it's kind of what nvidia is doing they're solving like very wealthy people issues or in other words they're solving microsoft's problems google's problems amazon's problems creators problems like they're solving our issues i can render out a 15 minute 4k video with a 4090 in like a minute dude <laughs> whereas whereas if i go from a 40 it's, and it, i mean it's like this big of a difference if i go back to a 4080 and i try to render out the same 15 minute 4k video it's going to take me like 10 or 15 minutes depending on the bit rate that i use dude holy crap um but anyways so and then we have Lightroom. And to be honest, I don't, I use AI for my thumbnails at this point. I use Adobe Firefly and Mid Journey. I'm not going to sit here and make four to be. So I have seven channels, three of them I basically ever upload on. Okay. So if I can take a 4090 and save myself 15 minutes per video on four videos a day, that's a whole hour of my time I get back. They're solving issues for people like not gamers because that totally makes sense. And I understand that that upsets people, dude, but like, that's just reality of it, man. That's just the brutal truth of it. Like you don't need to get a 4090. You don't need to get a 5090. Now the problem that I have is going to the 4080 and the 5080. That's where pricing becomes an issue because those are supposed to be for gamers. Okay. The 4090, the, the 3090, the 4090 and 5090, the price for those should not matter to the public. Okay. That they're, they're not trying, they're even the 4080 and 50, like even the, like even those are kind of overkill for gaming. Like we're building a, this is a 4070 Ti. We're literally building, I'm building this computer today in the height Y60 case that that gpu is more than capable of 4k gaming bro like and then we like if you pair it with like a 70 what is it 7800 x 3d you're gonna be playing games in 4k you don't need a 4080 like you don't need it you know what i mean like so i i don't know dude that's just me it's just the common sense that i have in my going on in my brain but anyways that's the end of this article i know i got pretty off topic there but we've gone over a lot of the specs for those of you that are unaware here it is you're going to have gddr7 memory the three nanometer process the pci 5.0 display port 2.1 and it's going to be lacking in its 40 series gpus three nanometer wafers so i just i really am i'm can you imagine this That's gonna be insane, dude. All right, so waiting for NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 5090, brace for a possible shortage of the next generation GPUs. Now, you know, it's pretty obvious that this is gonna happen. I think you know that this is going to happen just as well as I do. Now, COVID, and look, this is a conspiracy theory here, okay? I'm just, this is just a conspiracy theory, okay? If you look at Sony, okay? 
and this is and the reason i'm using i know this is not nvidia or amd but this is the perfect example of what i'm trying to communicate to you right now sony and their ps5 how long has it been since covid took place sony originally said they were not bringing their console to stores because of covid and they apparently didn't want the people that were already in the store to get groceries and all the other crap that they were going to the store for they didn't want those people that were already there to get sick but now we're like what are we at like four or five years later and they're still almost impossible to get in a store there is a reason for that my friends and it is because of resellers sony doesn't care about you they don't care about me they don't care about that dude they care about their console being gone the moment they put them online because everybody now is fully aware sony is going to bring maybe two or three consoles to a store every single month and they're going to leave the thousands and thousands and thousands of the rest of them on their website so that bots and scalpers can buy them and resell them for a markup sony is doing that intentionally they have not just not brought their console to stores for four freaking years there's a reason for this bro so anyways that's really all i need to say about that article the nvidia rtx 5090 gpu could have fuller core count than the rtx 4090 but stock is a worry and this is just kind of a little update regarding this exact same article this is from moore's law is dead if you guys don't watch him on youtube he makes some pretty cool he makes some pretty cool video i'm subscribed to him i haven't watched this video but that's a that's a long title holy moly um but anyways if you guys want to go check him out he's a really good creator. tell him dan does pc sent you that'd be cool i'm gonna, I'm gonna go read his comment that would be funny <laughs> uh so anyways that's really what this is mostly going over it's just kind of because of the chip and then the shortages with how chips are being manufactured right now over in china and then everything that's actually going on in our world like not just china specifically but our actual world man like there's a lot of stuff happening right now that you know i'm not political okay i have no idea about politics i am the least political person i have never voted for a president in my life okay i do not watch the news i don't give a crap about the government the reason i don't give a crap about the government is because the government does nothing for me but take my money in taxes that's all they do <laughs> but so anyways the reason i'm saying this dude is because our president biden he's okay <laughs> I'm not going to go. I'm not going to get into this. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't want to be disrespectful. I think anybody that like has even the slightest amount of clue on what's going on in our world with people coming into our country and stuff. You, I mean, when, when the elections come in, whenever they're coming, I've, it's pretty hard to avoid. You see commercials. I don't know when the elections are again i'm the least political person so to all the political people about to attack me i don't know anything that i'm saying right now all i know is that biden letting anybody into our country is having a negative impact on it that's all i know and because of this i'm fully aware who the uh ignorant guy what the heck why can i not think? trump when he comes back into office, which is pretty obvious to me that that is going to happen. Again, I don't vote, don't care who's president, okay? But I know for a fact Biden is not going to be president. He's going to go down in history as the worst president. Um, <laughs> but uh, at least for like the next 50 to 100 years. So Trump is going to come in and he's going to really like try to put this stuff to a halt. And that is going to impact us the people that want nvidia stuff from other areas around our whatever globe anyway so anyways nvidia stock is on the rise and here's and uh amd is climbing even faster now I, I just wanted to cover this because the other day we covered this and i thought um or what was it i said something about uh whatever like selling stock i don't i was something about it was i sold my stock with nvidia just because of that explosive growth and like how 
company and so anyways the reason i'm saying this is because if you if if you do invest okay this is an opportunity to hop on amd because it th the same thing that happened to nvidia is going to happen to amd and yes i did in fact invest in amd um i don't know nothing about the stock market all i know is that when i look up this stuff every day this, there's a reason that i'm doing this stuff dude i really am i'm just sharing stuff that i find interesting and that could be of value to you and to me because i learn as i edit this that's how i learned i have high functioning autism so it is very difficult so there's times where i seem confused with the articles that i'm reading but i'm not learning as i'm reading and sharing it with you i'm learning and reading just learning or, or i learn what i'm reading as i edit it because that is how i learn i'm horrible at reading i but while i'm reading i literally got seven million other things going through my mind so anyway yeah whatever dude unless it's like super super duper like charty like video cards website that's why i say i love theirs because it's so simple for me to understand that um you know but yeah i'm a visual learner and a whatever learner i'm a doing learner <laughs> i always have to learn the hard way but anyways man let me know what you guys think about all this stuff i think this is super cool i'm very excited for the 5090 bro like I just wish dude it sucks man it sucks being a creator or it sucks being small it does dude it really does it's like because like i would love to reach out to nvidia or zotac or gigabyte or msi or asus or whatever do all these graphics card companies and be like hey would you would you send me a review unit i don't even need to keep it I can, i'll literally send it back to them but it's like they don't do that so like we got linus and bitwit and jace two cents and hardware unbox and gamers nexus and all these other whatever and a new one for me is daniel owen i just started watching him he's a super cool guy as well eta prime is another guy i really i like him because he covers emulation and i really like old school retro stuff i know it's it's glitched out right now because that's a whatever this is a um this is an emulator but if i is recorded gameplay by the way <laughs> but if i come back here it's kind of see how it's like it's a little bit glitched out so this is ai adding these these like whatever this stuff on the side i've showed you guys this in the past it's super duper cool but it glitches out sometimes as you can see there's like so there won't be enemies that come like right see how it just like pops up but that's so cool to me i think that's so as a person that likes retro stuff i think that's the coolest thing ever but anyways i'm getting off topic boys and girls let me know what you guys think about all of this stuff and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace